Hey everyone, so we're just past the Sephora sale, and of course I had to pick up a few things. I only picked up, I think, two things from them, and I picked up a couple things elsewhere. So, I thought I'd share with you guys what I picked up from them and from the other places. So, let's just jump right in and start with the Sephora stuff. Like I said, I only picked up two things from them, and the first thing was a Clinique Color Pop Blush in Cola. This is the box, in case you want to see that. I usually like seeing boxes, so... But the actual product is this, and it's one of those flower-shaped ones, which all the ColourPop ones are like. This is Cola, as I said, so it's a deep burgundy color that is just absolutely gorgeous. I picked this up the very first day that the sale went on, and I am so happy that I did because I absolutely love this. It looks gorgeous on. I'm not wearing it now, but when I got it, I wore it for like four days after I had it in a row. So... That tells you how much I love it, because usually I try to change it up every day. I try to use something a little different, but this is just incredible. It is such a beautiful color. Here, let me do a little swatch. And see, that's just a little light swirl on it. And then, let's see, there we go. Now see, that is just beautiful. It's got this gorgeous sheen. Yes, it's intense, but you can use it very lightly and get just a gorgeous color with it. I am seriously impressed with this, and I love this, and I'm really glad because I liked the ColourPops when they first launched, but none of them really were pigmented enough for me to really pick up. This, however, was, and I'm so happy that I did. It's regularly $21, which is what it is now. I think I got it for like $18 with the sale, but yeah, so happy. The next item I got was something that I was a little on the fence on, but I decided to pick it up. Because, you know, the sale and everything, might as well pick it up. I wanted to try it, so. Worst happened was I did, wouldn't like it, and I'd give it to somebody or return it. When I say give it, I mean, like, to a friend or a family member. Not as, like, an actual gift, but just, like, here. I don't like this. You can have it. But it's the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. And this is the box. It's got French macaroons. It's really pretty and fun and, like, springy. And then the palette is the same thing. It's the tin same design and everything, and it's just, it's a pretty palette, it's got some colors and stuff, I mean, you've got some corals up here, you've got some purples, and then in here you got some blue and pink, so, you know, it's a fun palette, I've only worked with it once, and it's, they're a little flakier than usual with Too Faced, but nothing really bad, uh, I feel like they swatch kind of crappily, but they go on better, and if you use a base, or specifically a colored base with them, they really are good. They're not regular Too Faced quality, but they're still decent. And, you know, I may have to do a full review and a full look with that. But those are the two things I picked up at Sephora. The next thing I picked up was actually at Kohl's, and it was something that was on my list to get for a, like, bottom of the list, something I wanted to pick up eventually. But I saw it in Kohl's, and I figured, why not just grab it now when I can get it in person, and that is the Lorac Unzipped Gold. This is the box, obviously. And then the actual palette. Which I feel like is not as glossy as the first unzipped, but it's still, you know, a decent packaging. And then inside you've got all the ungold, you've got the unzipped gold shades, which are all gold tones. I feel like some of them lean a little more coppery, like, uh, like undressed. I feel like that leans more coppery gold, but still gold. They're all still beautiful. They're the same quality as the unzipped versus the pro palettes, which is nice. Uh, it, it's a decent palette. I personally prefer the unzipped one, but I could see if someone loves gold, this being their personal preference favorite. But it's a decent palette, and well, I picked it up. I like it. I can get some nice looks out of it. The only thing that I noticed that was a little different with this one was actually unpredictable, which is the middle shade there, had a little bit of fallout, and I was really surprised by that. But other than that, same as the unzipped one, which I liked. I love. It's one of my favorite. I love the plummies and the, the rose gold hues with it. This one's good. Just not as much as a favorite or love as that. So there you have that. And then the final two things I picked up actually just arrived today. I ordered them from Urban Decay, which you're probably going to guess what they are when I said that. But the Urban Decay new blushes, and these are $26 a piece. And these are the boxes. They have the name and color up top. And they're just, you know, they're pretty much like their lipstick, just blush packaging-wise. And then you've got the actual blush, 
which is that gunmetal really shiny that's going to get really dirty easily. You've got a see-through little mesh thing where you can kind of see the color. I think you're kind of seeing it better on camera than you can in real life. I mean, this you really can't see through too well. I mean, let's see. Let's compare and see if you can tell the difference in color. See, they kind of look the same on the lens here. So I'm thinking that on the actual video they're going to look exactly the same too. But, yeah, they're not really something that you could distinguish the color that way. The back is nice because you've got that. But typically I stack everything like this. So when I see it, I just see the top and the front. So... But it's not something I really mind because I only got two of them and I'll know the difference and I might even just leave them in this. This is great for being able to, you know, see them because you've got the color and the name. But the first one I picked up is actually the one that I'm wearing and that is Bittersweet. Which, see that's like a mesh thing in it. There is some texture to it. It's not as like through as I was thinking it was going to be. But there's Bittersweet. Oh my god, I'm in love with this color. I love purple blushes, and so obviously I love this. I've got it on my face now. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's soft, but it still has that purple, which is nice because some things like this tend to go more pink. This keeps that purple tone, which I really love because I love purple, and purple is such a unique color in blushes, and it can really look very beautiful. And So I am very happy with this. I'm really glad I picked this up. And I love it, and I feel like this is going to be one of my favorites. FYI, I think it's workable on most skin tones, but this is really, really going to be beautiful and pop on deeper skin tones. I love purple on deeper skin tones. It just it looks so beautiful. The next one I picked up was Obsessed, which is kind of a light, classic-y pink. I'm covering it like there's a mirror, and there isn't. But Obsessed. It's just a very light kind of classic pink. It's looking more pastel on camera there than it actually is. I haven't used it yet or anything, so I can't really comment. I think it's going to be a nice one. I think it's going to be a good for most looks, everyday type of situation. So, yeah, and the only I thought this might be a run-of-the-mill type of color. But I went through my collection. I only see one thing that's really similar to it, and that is... Let me actually just pull it out and show you guys. That is Max peony peony petal I mean the camera's probably showing them closer than they are and they, they are very very close but they are slightly different I mean that's sort of the closest thing I have in my collection and this I think is gonna be smoother and nicer to work with than this this don't get me wrong it's nice to work with it's just I think this is gonna be a little better and this is more product oh. and now the last two things I picked up aren't makeup related, but I figured I'd share them with you anyway because I'm really excited about them, and that is King of the Hill Season 9 and Season 10, which I love this show. This was one of my favorite shows. I did a Netflix membership in the beginning just because I could watch all these on it. I kept it after because I do like the content and stuff, but I was really bummed because I had the first six of these and I couldn't get them because Fox stopped releasing them. Which, uh, What is it? Oliver Films, or Olive Films, bought these and started releasing them, and I have... Seven and eight already, but I picked these two up because they just came out and it's getting the hill, and I love these. I'm glad that they're on DVD. So, but yeah, those are the things that I picked up recently uh, this month. Let me know if you guys picked anything up in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more in depth reviews of anything here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.